there I was watching the latest Thunderfoot video pertaining to those who attempted to take away his career. It was a long one, all right, and as repetitive as is the man's usual style, but still gold. I'm a slow learner, so I can't quite understand trying to get someone fired for having a different opinion. How could anyone think that's okay? Is that really the world you want? One without free speech? Where anyone can be fired for political incorrectness? I just don't get viciousness. Just chill, people. To my surprise, the video got far more interesting towards its end, and far more relevant to me and this channel. Without the wall I like, innocent until proven guilty, that Hannibal was actually proven guilty. And it's all there in the public court records. I mean, there's almost this sort of Ted Haggard-esque thing to it that these male feminists, the more they talk about how rape offends them, the more likely they are to be, how should we say, sexually maladjusted. However, even at that, I was probably a damn sight more charitable than Hannibal than he would have been to anyone else. Because honestly, I don't know about the details, but America can be very prudish about sex with someone one hour before their 18th birthday is statutory rape with a minor, and one hour afterwards is fine. Without knowing the details, I'm not going to burn the man, nor do I particularly care to know what the details are, because even if I did, it's not something I particularly care about. First, some credit must go to Thunderfoot. He's right. America can be prudish. I was holding my breath, ready to lose respect for Dr. Foote if he had harsh words to say about someone else's private sexual life. I was pleased, though. Sexually maladjusted. That was the closest he came to passing judgment. I'll take that as a win. Now, I have some familiarity with this particular part of the Ohio Revised Code for reasons. It shouldn't exist. Hannibal is the victim of an unjust law that is the result of anti-sex hysteria. If you are an anti-feminist, you should be defending him in order to defend normal male sexuality and in order to resist the demonization of harmless men. If you are a feminist, you should be defending him in order to fight discrimination against any sexual orientation. Ostracizing Hannibal is no different from ostracizing a man 60 years ago after he's outed as a homosexual. Won't somebody please think of the children? Come on, gender activists. You're better than this. It is never okay to judge someone for his or her sexuality. Ever. Period. Dear Hannibal, in this regard, I will defend you on this, if it's the last thing I ever do. I'm sure we'd have a hard time ever getting along, but I am a man of ethics. Not only will I maintain my commitment to defending the defenseless, no matter how unpopular it makes me. I will defend my opponents.